Hey guys, Mike here. Thought I'd just do my first video on the Legal Eagle um, project. I'm just starting it now. So what I did was I started with the building a table for the fuselage. Um, I thought I'd just walk through it. There's a million ways to do it. This is the method I chose. This is my seventh home built fuselage. So over the last few projects, I mean, you start to get a grip on kind of what works and what doesn't and what's easy, what's not. Uh, I used to be into spending all this time and building tables. It just doesn't pay. And so uh, I'd rather just get it done quick and then the table's built and get on to building airplanes. So what I did was I chose rod yet of plywood. I've used all different types and this is really good. This came from a real lumber yard. You won't find it at Home Depot. It's a pretty dense plywood, extremely flat. Rarely is it warped. It's just a real nice, smooth, sanded surface. Um, plywood cost me $47 for the two sheets. And it's basically an 8-foot ripped 24 inches um, wide. And then, so you have an 8-foot and a 4-foot together is 12-foot. And as you walk down, you can see this is where the seam is. And the TGI, I just used two of them, okay? And they were scrap, really. They were just nothing special at the lumberyard. They gave me a great deal on them, so it pays to ask. But it's nine and a half inches tall, inch and three quarter wide this way. It's engineered joist, so it, it's super stiff. It's not warped. You don't have to worry about that. I built tables out of dimensional lumber. And it sucks. I mean, to try to find a straight piece is just, it's murder. So, sooner or later, you just give up and you say, something like that, straight as an arrow. So, they're screwed 19 inches apart, which works pretty good, and I'm just using two of them. I got plywood top and bottom. That box is so incredibly stiff and straight, it's unbelievable. This time around, instead of trying to have levelers and stuff like that, I just forget it. I just bought these here, Home Depot, 16 bucks each. I used two of them. The TGI is so stiff that it bridges it, and there's zero flex, absolutely zero flex. To level it, you can just take shims, and you just shim the edges. You loosen up the screws a little bit. Once you get it level, you tighten the screws down, and it just, like I said, it is solid as a rock. So that's the table. That's what I elected to do. I've done it many different ways. And this here was about as simple and down and dirty as it gets.